Welcome to another dog vlog. Here. I'm going to be making three meals for the three dogs here. We've got Bentley, Finnegan, and Wally, and I'm gonna show you what they eat and all the awesome toppings. And when you stay tuned until the end, I am going to be showing you an awesome DIY treat that you can make today with my favorite pumpkin powder. So stay tuned for that. I have three bowls I'm going to feed out of. Sometimes during mealtime, I actually work with my dogs, which is a great way to give them mental stimulation. But today I'm busy, I'm filming a video. So I'm gonna be using these slow feeder bowls. Everything I talk about today will be linked in the description below so you don't need to take notes. I wanna show you the meat patty. This is the base of the food that I put in there. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is raw dog food. The brand of this one is Bones & Co. And yes, I do their marketing. So if you go to their Facebook or Instagram, you'll probably see me there. I was a fan girl and now I get to help out the brand. I love it. Um, but I do switch up the brands that I feed them based on what's available. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, you're touching that with your bare hands. I'm like, absolutely. I practice the same food safety practices that I would if I'm preparing meat for myself or my family. And I am gonna ask your question, which I know is, wait, Rachel, if this is raw meat, then how are you not worried that your dog is gonna get salmonella or some kind of harmful bacteria? I'll answer that in just a moment. But first, let me add my topping. So since this bowl is for Finnegan, right here, you have got boy, who is my four and a half year old golden doodle. We rescued him when he was a baby. Um, what I like to add in his bowl is, or are, some of these, and this changes up, the toppings that I give change up, are these air dried turkey meatballs. They are full of green tripe, which is one of the most nutrient dense superfoods you can give your dog that is full of healthy, natural digestive enzymes. Next are some organic baby carrots that were on sale at my natural grocery store. Um, so I love adding these in here. He's very excited to eat uh, because first off, the dogs love them. Second off, they're rich in beta carotene, great for eye health. And next, I'm gonna add some of these awesome A Better Treat chicken breast toppers. If you follow me for any length of time, you know I'm a big fan of this brand. One, it's a teeny tiny brand. I adore them. Um, plus, they're single ingredient. They do have a fish one that's made with salmon. The one I'm gonna add today because somebody chewed open the top is the chicken breast. These are free range from free range chickens, meaning they're more humanely raised, which is really awesome to me to be able to support a product that has no added fillers or anything. And um, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna pour some out. Thank you to whoever opened them. Um, I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag so they stay good for a they're long nice time. nice little, these are great training treats food toppers, enrichment toy toppers. So I love putting a little bit on here, mostly honestly, because the dogs love them. It's a little added protein. My dogs are very active, especially when we're all together. Um, so that is an awesome addition. And then, this is so fun, I love adding, these are some new treats that I've recently found that are simply dehydrated apple pieces. That's it, the only ingredients in here are apples. So I put a little bit on here for some added produce. Um, there's some added pectin in that, healthy fiber. Now let's add some of my Native Pet Organic Pumpkin Powder. So you can see in here, this is what it looks like. And again, stay tuned because I will be showing a really cool DIY treat recipe you can make with this pumpkin powder. But I like to add this on my dog's bowls um, anytime we are going in between traveling places. So right now I'm at my mom's house visiting, which means that there's a little bit of added stress and anxiety and excitement, which in some dogs can cause a little bit of bowel or stomach or GI upset. And a little scoop of this makes a world of difference. Um, and the only three ingredients in here, which is amazing and very hard to find, are 100% organic pumpkin, pumpkin seed and organic apple. And the fact that this is 100% organic by a teeny tiny company owned by two best friends that are really just pet focused, not just profit focused, um, makes me really excited and honestly honored to be able to support. I've been talking about and purchasing, purchasing with my own money this brand for a very long time because I really believe in what they're doing. I also love the fact that it is completely organic and this is shelf stable. So instead of buying those cans of pumpkin from the grocery store and like the pumpkin puree, which are heavy, there's usually a lot of waste and they take up a lot of room and they're pretty expensive when you get the organic ones. This to me is a much better alternative. And then once I put all the ingredients in the bowl, I often will add some kind of liquid just for added hydration. Um, right now, what I'm going to add is just some plain 
warm, filtered water. I actually feed my dogs or only give my dogs filtered water. If you wanna know what filter I use, just again, check the shop link uh, listed below. Next, I'm gonna make Bentley's bowl. Uh, Bentley is my senior chocolate lab. He will turn 13 this year, believe it or not. And so I absolutely feed him a raw fresh food diet. So you may be asking, okay, what is a raw fresh food diet? How does that differ from kibble or freeze dried or whatever? A raw fresh food diet means that there's no kibble, no over processing. Yes, good down. Um, and it is made of completely raw meat or organ and bones. And you may ask, well, why do you do that? Why not kibble? Well, remember, kibble's only about 100 years old. Before that, what did dogs eat? They ate table scraps. They ate uh, dead carcasses and a roadkill off the ground. They ate what we ate, which is real, fresh food. And dogs, biologically, were meant to digest as carnivores raw meat, raw organ, raw bone. This is the most biologically species appropriate diet. The ingredient deck on a premium pre-made raw dog food is so limited and so high in protein and healthy fats and so low in unnecessary carbs that our dogs are being put in the most optimal metabolic and biological state so that they can thrive and live as long as possible. Um, this is the most natural way for a dog to eat Clearly, we've got this hyper puppy back there. Yes, good job. Yes, good boy. Now, if you have a dog that's jumping up like this, the real best way to handle this situation is to remove them from the kitchen at this point. But what dog vlog would this be without a crazy dog in the background? This is just real life. Um, or you can ignore them and reward them when they have four paws on the ground. Yes, good boy. Good job. Wally is a very demanding boy and is my mom's dog. So I have one beef patty here for Bentley. Uh, again, I love slow feeders like this because this for two reasons, slows down their eating. When they're slowing down their eating, they're not gulping in as much air. When your dog is eating out of a regular dog bowl and they eat so fast and they swallow a bunch of air, that can put them at more risk for bloat, GI upset, like flatulence or being gassy or burping quite a bit because they're swallowing air. Also, when we slow them down, it can improve digestion. Also, I love using slow feeders when I'm not working with them during mealtime because it gives them added, added mental stimulation and enrichment. You tire their mind, you tire their body. So what we have here for Bentley is I'm also going to give him two of these air dried turkey meatballs. So when I think about how can I do the most for my dogs, right? How can I help them be healthier and happier, not just physically and biologically healthy, but mentally healthy. And part of that, I believe, is giving them a variety of foods. Again, this video is just what works for my dogs and I, and I hope it inspires you to ask more questions and to explore the best that's for your dog. Bentley will also get some of the Native Pet Pumpkin Powder. Um, this can be used as a daily supplement for added healthy uh, micronutrients and added healthy fiber or what I use this for and what I first purchased this for years ago was uh, Finnegan here, come here, come say hi. He actually got into something he shouldn't and he started having loose stool. Of course, if you have any medical issues, consult your veterinarian. What I did, because I knew he got into it and I knew it wasn't super toxic, is I gave him a full serving of this organic pumpkin powder mixed with a little bit of water and I put it on a lick mat like this. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, froze it and then I let him eat it. What that did was help with him with loose stool. It bulked up his stool and within about a day, day and a half, his stool, loose stool issue was completely resolved. This can also help with constipation. So this is kind of one of those uh, pantry staples that honestly I'm never without. I'm also gonna add one of these uh, organic green lip mussels by Gourmet, again linked below. These are rich in omega-3 and there have been studies that show that this may be equal if not a better source of essential fatty acids which are important for joint health, brain health, heart health uh, than just regular fish oil. So I really love this because again it's a teeny tiny company. I love supporting either really small pet brands or at least pet brands that are innovative and very obviously pet first, not just folk, uh, profit first. And you can see here, it's a nice little size. Wally goes crazy for these. So I'm gonna stick this in here. Last but not least is going to be Wally's bowl. 
bowl. So I've got a patty here for him. I'm also gonna add some of the A Better Treat chicken breast. I love putting a little handful. I love even making treats with those too, and I'll show you my treat recipe in just a moment. Last but not least, um, I put water over it. Sometimes I'll do some bone broth, no salt seasoning added. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of raw goat milk. I'll give Wally his first. Good sit. So we're gonna put it in his kneader feeder because he likes to make a big mess. Good weight. There you go. And as you can see, this has this kneader feeder has raised edges. So if he splashes water or gets his dinner mess anywhere, uh, the raised walls will actually contain the mess and keep it off the walls and the floor. Um, and then if there's any water that drips down here in the grates, good weight. Uh, you'll see it can drain down to the bottom. Two compartments, the top one, which will capture any of the mess. You can wipe it clean, and then the bottom part will collect it. And then again, you can just dump it out, wipe it clean. Get it, go eat. One of the reasons I feed a raw, fresh food diet for my dogs is because, and comment below if you want me to go into a deep dive about a raw, fresh food diet, how to pick one, all the brands I like, DIY versus store-bought, et cetera. With dogs, the most common canine diseases are those that are absolutely shown to be fueled in so many cases by the diet that we feed them or don't feed them. Of course, there's genetic factors and environmental, but there are studies that show that what we feed our dogs can impact 30 to 40, even more percent of their likelihood and severity of common diseases like cancer, diabetes, epilepsy. Um, if we look at dogs as a whole, almost 60%, over half of dogs are now considered obese and overweight. What does that mean? That means that our dogs are suffering from poor metabolic health. They're suffering from obesity, which is widely known both in humans and canines to shorten lifespans and to make quality of life a lot less. And one of the best ways, in my opinion, for my dogs that I can help them stay healthy as long as possible is feeding them a more biologically appropriate, a more species appropriate, a more natural diet uh, that they were meant to eat. Don't forget, as I've said multiple times before, kibble is only about 100 years old and we had dogs far before that. So no, I do not believe that dogs only need to have kibble in order to survive. Am I anti-kibble? Absolutely not. My Labrador, my 12, almost 13 year old Labrador, ate kibble for the first several years of his life before I educated myself, before I knew better, which is interesting because my degree, my degree is in nutrition, albeit human nutrition, but the synergies and the similarities between dog DNA, our DNA, and the disease structure is actually very similar in a lot of cases. There's a lot of synergy. So I find that fascinating. And when I really dug into the science and the research, and I used a little bit of common sense, I realized my dogs need real meat. And regardless of the brand of kibble that you feed, they are going to be significantly higher in carbohydrates, which is widely known that carbohydrates, AKA sugar in excess, absolutely can lead to hormonal imbalances, uh, can fuel things like cancer cells, uh, and will actually can lead to storage of fat in the body. So obesity, it increases inflammation, it can increase weight gain, uh, and it makes it very difficult for the dog to process and metabolize food efficiently. And no matter the brand, all kibble is significantly higher in carbohydrates than a quality, premium, complete and balanced, raw, fresh food diet. Why? Because how do you think that they make the little starchy, little kibble niblets shelf stable? It's like a cereal, right? It's a fortified cereal. That's what kibble is. It'd be like you and I, could we live forever on a box of Cheerios or organic honey bunches of oats or whatever the brand is? We probably could live a long time on that. Um, they do fortify it with vitamin synthetic packs, just like in kibble. Uh, but the reality is, is just like dogs, we thrive on real, whole, fresh food diets. This right here is literally just uh, grass-fed raw meat in its most natural, unadulterated form, raw organ, which is 
absolutely necessary and essential in a dog's diet for the nutrient dense ingredients in it, as well as uh, raw crushed bone. Again, the key is raw, it's not cooked, so it's easily digestible and absolutely imperative for their diet, plus a little bit of organic produce for the phytonutrients. But I also am realistic in that every dog is different, every pet parent is different, and I'm not here to say what you're feeding your dog is bad, I'm just here to encourage you to feed the best that you can even if that means adding a little bit of fresh foods to the bowl and have a ton of ways to do that. If you want me to share it, comment below. Now for an easy DIY recipe you can do using native pet pumpkin powder. Uh, this is a fun little thing you can make ahead of time. So if your dog is having some stomach upset, maybe they're a little constipated or they're having some loose stool, this could be a fun way to address that. Of course, work with a vet with any medical issues. But all I do is I take some of my filtered water, I'll take a spoonful or a little scooper full of the pumpkin powder and I'll actually pour it into one of the molds. There we go, just like so. And what you will know about me, I am not the cook or the baker of the family, so there is no exact science. I just put about a half a scoop to a scooper full because this actually comes with a scooper, which is very nice and convenient. And then I fill it with some uh, filtered water. And what it will do, and I'll stir it up a little bit. Let me get a fork to do that. And what that will do is create a little, excuse me, a little bit of a paste. And then when you freeze it, it creates a nice little dog bone shaped treat that is going to be packed with healthy fiber, packed with healthy pectin, um, some healthy vitamin A, vitamin C, and honestly is super, super tasty. Then to spice it up, I'll take something like some of these a better treat chicken treats and I'll layer them on top and it comes out like a tasty, tasty treat. Another thing I'll do for a treat is I'll take some of this baby food. Uh, you can use whatever you like for your dog. This is literally human baby food and it is organic non-GMO carrot. And the only ingredient in here is organic carrot and water. Nothing else, no preservatives, no sugar. Wallace, off. Yeah. Yes, good boy. And this is a great base for treats. You can even put this on top of a bowl. So what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll pour it in one of these molds, just a little bit. Oh, it's such a pretty orange color and it smells like carrots. Um, and then I'll take a sprinkle of the pumpkin for again, added fiber. And honestly, dogs love the taste of it. A little bit of fiber on top. And then I will top that with, I love this, one of these little dehydrated apples. Um, these are nice and soft and malleable. Put that on there and then boom, what you have here is a nice apple carrot pumpkin treat. So I know it's not super pretty, but these are fun, easy things that you can do at home right now. Um, this will be linked below. Big thanks for Native Pet for being an awesome supporter of our mission to save all the damn dogs. And click that subscribe button to join the fam and for happier, healthier pets. If you want to see more about what I feed my dogs in more detail, click the video right here. If you want to see some more brain games and things you can do to help mentally tire your dog inside, click the video right here. And I hope you have a beautiful day, bye.